हाय फोर्टी फाइव मेल विथ सीवियर लेफ्ट एल टू एल थ्री रेडिकलोपति एम आर ई शोइंग लेफ्ट एल टू एल थ्री अप मैग्रेटेड डिस्क एक्सट्रोशन वी डिट लेफ्ट ट्रांसफरामनल आउटसाइड एट अप्रोच वेर द शीत लाइज एंटरली इन द फॉरम एंड विदउट एंट्रिंग द डिस्क हियर ट्वेलव ओ क्लॉक बीइंग डॉर्सल नाइन ओ क्लॉक क्रेनियल थ्री ओ क्लॉक बीइंग कॉडल बिकॉज वी आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द पेशेंट हियर आई एम रिमूविंग द सॉफ्ट टिश्यू इन द फॉरम एंड अराउंड द फ्री एज ऑफ द सुपीरियर फेसेट वन साइज clear the soft tissue you can see here the bone that is getting bad of the superior articular facet here we need to drill the free edge of the superior articular facet to make the foramen bigger so the apex of the superior articular facet being towards cranial side here so i have started drilling the free edge of the superior articular facet using a articulating bar this is a excellent tool because here if we don't use a articulating bar and we use a regular bar we end up in drilling more bone because of the articulating bar we use the burring of the bone is less and we end up in removing lesser bone slowly the superior articular facet is drilled to create the foramen bigger you can see the free edge of the superior articular facet nicely here the base of the superior articular facet being towards the caudal side and the free edge that is the tip of superior articular facet being cranial side you can see here nicely i am trying to drill the edge of the superior articular facet and towards the apex slowly thinning out the bone till the deeper cortex is visualized once i drill this bone making it thinner and thinner then i can use specially made instrument in the form of goose or a chisel to just chisel out the edge of the bone the idea here is to decompress the recess and the foramen so space between the traversing root and exiting root is properly seen so that we can address the fragment which is up migrated and lying between these two roots now i am using a goose to just to chisel out the edge of the bone i am removing the edge of the bone here once i remove small this piece of this bone i can see the yellow ligament which is just medial to the facet and see here the yellow ligament is seen now just medial to the bone which we have removed i drill further so that the space is created more this is a how we do foramenoplasty also so this here we are doing a inside sorry outside out approach we can even follow inside out approach where you drill the bone and enter the disc or outside in approach where uh, inside out approach where you enter the disc and come out in the foramen and start drilling the facet here we are staying entirely outside the disc because we need not enter the disc here all we are interested to remove the extruded up migrated fragment once the bone is removed i am removing the yellow ligament which skirts or which drapes the traversing and exiting roots and insert into the upper pedicle so the yellow ligament around that area is being removed now piece by piece and the exiting root started seeing now we can see the exiting root here and the moment we remove the uh, that skirted ligament we can see the traversing root also 
that is the traversing route now once you can see here just below the exiting route that's the extruded fragment i use a hook kind of a thing to just delineate or deliver the fragment outside you can see i am using a hook here just to deliver the fragment out and slowly the fragments are removed anatomically here we are working between the exiting and traversing route of l2 l3 space that is uh, l3 is the traversing l2 is the exiting route and we are working at the body of l2 just superior to disk space that's where the fragment has migrated i'm removing the fragments bit by bit the advantage of endoscopy is the visualization is so clear the anatomical delineation is very clear i am able to see the edge of the roots fat globules and the disc very clearly so that avoiding any injury to the exiting root or traversing root the so bit by bit fragments are removed make sure that all the fragments are removed here i am almost removed the most of the fragments i will use a hook to again see any fragments are left behind so here there are small fragments still left behind and now i will use a hook to just see deeper inside you can see the ventral dura now falling nicely traversing root is visible nicely now because the fragment has been removed after removal of the small fragments just to confirm i can use a hook to just see whether everything has been removed i'm putting a hook there into that space it's in the ventral dura at the body of l2 a small fragment is there which i'm trying to hook it out and remove the remaining fragments once this remaining fragments are removed just identify the anatomy and come out the biggest advantage of this outside out procedure in such patients is you need not enter the disc you are entirely in the foramen decompressing the roots and coming out so patient goes home on the same day with a small opening in the back which heals spontaneously it's a beauty of endoscopy where there is no harm here done to any of the structures everything is visualized you can see that's a traversing root the yellow ligament just lateral to the traversing root is also removed now it's visible now i remove the further ligament here so that the all the nerve elements are decompressed very well now try to understand the anatomy here we are at l2 l3 space seeing the traversing root now nicely exiting root nicely the ganglion that's a ganglion so all the elements there has been decompressed entire disc material has been removed without damaging any structure there because of the endoscopic visibility now that's a area where disc had prolapse that's the traversing route that's a disc that's a exiting route and also we can see the superior edge of the exiting route clearly here on the fat this is a image depicting the exiting traversing route anatomy that's the superior border of the exiting route see nicely and the entire elements are decompressed post op mri immediate shows complete removal of the fragment and patient is completely relieved of symptoms thank you for watching